Hi everyone, read a great article today which compares Anasawa to Nicola Sturgeon's Human Shield. And I think in this case, the same could be said for Alex Cole Hamilton as well. What we've seen, of course, is Cranky come forward with a proposal for the gender bill. It's been roundly rejected by the electorate. It's caused her untold damage. But the parties that also backed her and propped up this bill are now facing even more difficulties than she was. So now they're being forced to go on stage. We saw Alex Cole Hamilton saying he's not qualified to say what a bloody woman is. We're seeing Sawa trying to talk about anything but. We've now got a coalition of Lib Dems, Labour and the SNP and the Greens fighting against the electorate and against the vast majority of Tory MSPs. Who'd have thought we'd find ourselves in a position where parties that are supposed to be unionist, like the Lib Dems and like Labour, are now fighting so hard to defend Sturgeon and the SNP? It's absolutely ludicrous and the polls reflect it because the only big gains in the polls this week were the Conservative Party in Scotland. Douglas Ross is always pretty unpopular anyway because he's seen as Boris's man, but as far as the regional and the constituency votes go... The vote share for the Tories went up by four points. That just shows you how unpopular these policies are and how unpopular Alex Cole Hamilton, who used to be credible, and Anna Sawa, who also used to be fairly credible, have made themselves by siding with the Greens and the SNP.